William Moyer was an activist for social change and a prolific writer. In the late 1970s, he wrote a movement action plan, which illustrates eight distinct stages of progress that social movements typically go through. Understanding these stages helps movement activists to choose the most effective tactics and strategies to match their movement's current stage. The first phase is what Moyer called normal time. Critical problems may exist in the society, but power holders and official institutions are not trying to make people aware of them or to fix them. Consequently, awareness of the problem is often quite low. In phase two, opposition groups begin working to expose the failure of the official institutions. Very often, this is a time of research, of developing expertise and knowledge. Phase three is entered when the conditions for a social movement begin to ripen. Activists begin working to create more and more awareness of the problem and the people it victimizes until public opinion begins to change. The movement enters its fourth phase when about a third of the public begins to oppose the policies of the power holders. At this point, the movement is primed to take off. Typically, a trigger event, such as an election or the passage of an unjust law, acts as a catalyst for a series of dramatic, nonviolent actions that demonstrate the public's opposition to the conditions and policies that are violating their values. This is often followed by a time when people perceive that the movement has failed as they see their goals unachieved and the power holders unchanged. This is a dangerous time because hopelessness and burnout may set in as it may seem that the movement is over. But if the movement has been doing its job, public opinion will have been swayed and power holders will begin to see that the majority opposes their policies. Sooner or later, the problem gets put on the political agenda and alternatives begin to be proposed and promoted. Now, some power holders will begin to dig in their heels and continue to try to demonize the opposition. So the important thing to remember at this point is to promote a complete paradigm shift and to refuse to settle for a few cosmetic reforms. When a large majority is publicly in opposition to the current policies and no longer fears the alternatives, power holders will begin to split off. Eventually, they understand that it will be more costly to continue their old policies than it will be to change. And this is when new laws and new policies can be enacted. But the movement's work is not done when these new policies are put into place. Now, it must turn its attention to continuing the struggle, extending its successes, and opposing attempts to organize some kind of backlash. And so these are the eight steps of Moyer's Movement Action Plan, which today is recognized as one of the most effective strategic models for waging nonviolent social movements.